Airways. So here we are filming for the Cheapo Air Traveler of the Year contest and I was so stoked when I heard about this contest that I came all the way to Antigua, Guatemala just to do my entry for the film. Well, to be honest, I also wanted to prove the judges that I had what it takes to go the distance, literally, and make an amazing film. In fact, I was so excited, I could hardly make it through the rules and regulations before I started writing the script and planning the trip. But I'm glad that I did, because when I read that I could make a short film about my favorite city, half the planning was already done. So let's go see what Antique was all about. Bien, bien, ¿y tú? Muy bien, mucho gusto. Yo soy Juan Carlos y soy el director de la Unión. Bienvenidos a Guatemala. Mi casa es su casa. Muchas gracias, amigo. Yo, me, yo, yo soy Kyle. Mucho gusto, Kyle. No, no soy de los Estados Unidos. Perfecto, bienvenido sí. a Guatemala, Kyle. Tienes, tienes estudiantes normalmente de, de los Estados Unidos. Ok, this is up for two different uh, types of minerals. the color for example with the greens we have 19 we have the white we have the black we have the new jade it's the lavender one Antigua itself used to be Guatemala's capital city, but after a series of major colonial era earthquakes, it was moved farther inland. But while government activities have moved, the culture remains firmly intact, bringing in plenty of tourism and business. Antigua is surrounded by three volcanoes, Agua, Fuego, and Acetenango. But if you want to see flowing lava, take a trip just outside the city to Volcan Picaya. Probably what Antigua is most famous for are its rich colors. All throughout town are these pastel facades and terracotta roof tiles. Antigua is not really all that large. You can walk its entirety in an afternoon. In fact, many people visit from Guatemala City, just 45 minutes away, to peruse the quaint shops and variety of great restaurants. The town's divided into mostly rectangular quadrants, and it only covers an area of around 12 by 12 city blocks with some outlying residential regions. The only remnants of Guatemala's long building history in Antigua take the form of colonial era monasteries and government buildings. But because of its tumultuous history of natural disasters, including floods, volcanoes, mudslides, and earthquakes, many of these amazing structures have been destroyed. One of the most notable monasteries in Antigua is the Iglesia de Santo Domingo, which was destroyed by several 18th century earthquakes. In the 1970s, it was purchased and excavated by an American archaeologist who discovered several catacombs that had been filled in by landslides. Inside, they found textiles, murals, and a crucifix dating back to 1683. Today, the ruins remain, but are known as the Casa Santo Domingo Hotel and include rebuilt sculptures and fountain structures. Candle and pottery makers have also found a home there. There are many more amazing sites and activities all throughout Antigua, but for now, we'll have to let those remain a mystery. Perhaps when I get back from either China or India, wink wink, we can dive into those. Until then, I'm Kyle O'Donnell, The Travel Geek.